Hey y'all, Fox here. Um, so welcome to my week one recap video, or what was supposed to be my week one recap video. Uh, I recorded all throughout the week and went to edit it today. Turns out my, uh, my editing computer took a crap. So I'm not able to edit right now. I have to set up another computer and see if that one works. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to figure out a way to do it at the library or some shit. Possibly even do it on my work computer. I don't know. I, I don't feel comfortable using my work computer for such things. But week one was successful. I weighed in at 300 pounds, uh, 300.6 pounds. Um, the actual weight was 302.6, but uh, yeah, I, my, the jeans I wear, they're a little heavy. Um, I like the extra weight and the extra mass. Uh, it helps me get, you know, get more cardio out of my walk, if that makes sense. Um, so I stuck pretty well to the uh, the calorie intake limiting. Um, kept myself at or around 2,000 calories, except for Tuesday, which is my raccoon day, where I went a little over 3,000. Now, conclusion uh, to that part of the experiment. Um, my body is used to uh, a caloric intake of over 3,000 calories. That's how I've been since as far back as I can remember. Um, I would never exceed, you know, 4,000 calories in a day um, unless I gave into emotional eating, uh, you know, whatnot, or I was really drunk because <laughs> uh, drinking makes me hungry. But, um, you know, with that, I... <sighs> I was experiencing some negative effects on my body, um, such as uh, less effective sleep, um, less energy throughout the day, uh, stomach pains throughout the day. Um, my acid reflux actually got worse, <laughs> um, but I've also noticed that I'm able to wake up without um, having acid splashes uh, during the mornings. So, I, you know, rest assured, I am going to continue limiting my caloric intake to below 3,000, but I'm not ready to just take the plunge and go to 2,000. Um, I know I should stick to it for another week or so, but, um, yeah, I, I, I think I know my body. <laughs> It's, it's been mine since day one. <laughs> um, I know it works and doesn't uh, for me. And so I'm going to leave behind the caloric, you know, uh, <laughs> um, limiting. I'm, I'm going to stop limiting my calories, at least stop the 2,000, but I am going to continue walking, continue working out. I've been, I got myself a 10 pound arm weight. I know that ain't much, but, uh, yeah, I, I take it with me to work and I, you know, I work my arms while I'm at work. I also have little gripper things. It's uh, two padded grips with a spring. Um, I use those at work and when I go for walks, I, uh, I actually strap the 10 pounder to the back of my belt. Um, I, I, I do a lot of rope work. Uh, I, I do, you know, kind of traditional, uh, you know, knot tying. Um, so I, I secure it in such a way that it causes no discomfort and it doesn't keep bouncing off my ass every time I take a step. But, um, I'm going to continue doing that stuff. And I'm going to increase my workout uh, regimen 
uh, to the point where I can, you know, I can comfortably join a gym once COVID's over. Um, which, if California is any indication, that's right around the fucking corner. <laughs> uh, I have so many rants about that and so little time. Um, I'm actually going to save those rants for another video. So, uh, in place of the the calorie tracking, um, once I get you know my editing computer back up and running, or uh, figure out some other way to edit, maybe even use my phone, which I don't even know how to do. Um, I, I don't know how to use editing software on a phone. I'm a traditionalist. I've been using. Uh, I've been doing vlogs since about 2002, 2003. Uh, so, yeah. I've become very, uh, very familiar with, uh, with Sony Vegas, um, which I've stopped paying for and I, I now use free and open source software, which there may be other software out there that I can use, I just haven't had the time to uh, to do the research on that. So, but I will do, you know, I'll do a little more on the, you know, the slice of life side of things. And if I'm not able to successfully edit things or if my, you know, recap videos become too long, I might do, you know, day in the life of type videos sporadically throughout the week, um, complete with, you know, like, here's what I'm eating today, or here's what I ate today. Like, today. Um, I woke up, had a bowl of uh, shredded wheat. Off-brand stuff, the bag stuff. The stuff that's cheaper, but you don't sacrifice any of the uh, nutritional value. Woke up, had a decent-sized bowl of that. Uh, with a... A uh, cup of coffee. Uh, got to work, had my usual rock uh, can of rock star, 32 ouncer. Yeah, fuck it. Um, for lunch, I went to Arby's, got the uh, the uh, two classic, uh, uh, you know, beef and cheddars, but I got them as wraps, and I asked for a half the ch you know half cheddar and no sauce so that was decent high protein low carb although i should have got a little more in the way of carbs it is what it is for dinner <laughs> christy made gumbo and oh boy if y'all know me y'all know i'm a cajun and y'all know i love gumbo <laughs> it was a uh, chicken and sausage with uh, I, I, I could go on for hours about the gumbo, but, um, uh, you know, a decent, you know, a day of eating. But yeah, expect more slice of life stuff. I'm going to try to figure out the editing. I'm going to upload it tomorrow if I can. If not, I'll just, you know, scrap yeah, uh, scrap last week's recordings and just start over um, but yeah that's it for my uh, week one recap um, happy that I lost you know a few pounds um, see if I can keep it going because uh, I know that you know uh, the five pound fluctuation is like I said that's that's within my fluctuated range so let's see um, intuitive eating. That's, that's what I do best. Uh, eat when I, you know, eat when I'm hungry, stop when I'm full. And I don't, you know, I don't just shovel food in my face hole. Um, cause doing so will trick your body into thinking you're, you know, it, it, you can get more food in before, oh shit, you're full, stop eating, dumbass. You know? Um, Uh, that's that's kind of what I like to do is you know take slow bites eat your food slow that way you get the full signal when you're supposed to get the full signal 
That way you're not accidentally binging. Um, the only time I don't follow that is if I'm short on time and have small food. Like, if I have a corn dog and I have five minutes to get to work, you bet your sweet ass I am biting, I, I am eating that whole goddamn corn dog into chunks. Two. <laughs> I don't even taste it. I don't even care that it's big lips and asshole. And this is why I don't like filming back here. Anyway, so. That is it. And expect more. Thanks for watching, and uh, thanks again for your positive comments and support on my first video uh, of this series. I'm going to continue. Um, and yeah, if you like this, like it, comment, share it if you think anyone will find it useful. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the bell. Okay. <laughs> And I will see you guys later. Oh, uh, Naughty Fox Metalworks. I will leave a link in the crotch bar. I'm going to pick up on that because that is a great way to burn calories. Uh, not watching the videos, uh, it, you know, doing <laughs> doing work in the forge uh, burns calories. You know what I fucking mean. See you.